I'm joined by Dolores Netmaker, an associate pastor of All Nations Church in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, as well as um, being a teacher for over 23 years working in the education system. Dolores, your story starts off uh, pretty grim. At four years old, you lost your dad. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. My mom and dad had six children. I'm third. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just one night. They, they had a wedding, um, had us at a, a different home that night. And then I think God had his hand on that. And, but he, uh, yeah, they came home and, and um, they came to the house and fell asleep with a cigarette in his hand and um, eventually caught the smoke and, and, and he passed away in, in the house. Mom got out through the window and, and all that and tried everything they could to save him, but he had already got, the house was just going so fast. So what was that like at four years old? Did you, were you able to comprehend? Early that morning, I remember um, just the tension. There, there was something not right. And you could see the smoke coming from our house. I remember mom coming over and uh, she took the three, two of my older brothers and myself. And of course there were no phones at that time. Mm -hmm. And so we, we had to run and go tell the next house, you know, we need help, we need help. The next thing you know, we were leaving. We, we had lost everything, um, everything that we had owned. We had no clothes, nothing. And uh, so we went over to the next reserve, my mom's reserve. We were there for a bit and then eventually made our way into Saskatoon. And at that time, you know, you lose your dad, but you also find Jesus. Yeah. And uh, at around eight years old, I remember that, uh, you know, throughout time, there were different people that would come and knock on our door. And, uh, but there was a family of ours that had been attending an Aboriginal church here in Saskatoon called Native New Life. And uh, we started going, the, I started going, the church van would come and pick us up mm -hmm. and I would take my siblings along with me because during that time, mom was doing a lot of drinking and um, she, you know, diff different relationships and, and all that. Uh, I remember one Wednesday night at a Bible study, I didn't have my siblings with me. Um, but I remember, um, I remember looking up at the altar and I would see people crying and I used to wonder what are they crying about? I would see people just rejoicing and I thought, you know, I don't understand all this, but I said, whatever that is, I want that. Mm. And, and just something just kind of flooded over me and all of a sudden I found myself crying. And uh, one of the sisters, one of the ladies in the church came and put her arms around me and she says, Dolores, would you want to give your life to Jesus? And so I did. And it's that faith that kind of care, didn't kind of, it did carry you through some really tough times. Mm -hmm. At 11 years old, you talked about your mother being in different relationships, a destructive relationship that left you an abuse victim. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. There was one man that my mom spent 10 years with of her life, and of course he became part of the family. And uh, I, I, I was starting to feel comfortable with him. I had trouble calling anybody dad. I started to call him dad until one night, mom and him and my mom were out drinking. He, uh, I know he tried to come in and, and, and abuse uh, me. And uh, I, the very next day I, I told mom, I said, this is what happened. And I, that next day he was packing his bags and he was leaving. Mm. And I thought, wow, he's leaving. She, she sent him out because of what he did. Two weeks later, mom had just come out of a drinking you know, weekend and she had been just drinking. And, and she said to me, she said, Dolores, would you want to go and live with Chris and Brian? And that I know Chris as, my, as she's a relative, but I didn't really know her all that well. And I just said yes, just thinking, well, she's not going to remember. But next thing you know, I'm packing a bag and I'm moving up north. Well, when we return, we're going to continue our conversation with Dolores and the amazing story of how God turned her pain into being able to help so many people. Stay with us. We'll be right back.